we're back in it. Um, trying out a new microphone today for a little bit of better quality here. Uh, let's get back to it. We are in the command prompt, configuring the environment, the last section here. Learn to configure the environment using the command line. So, first thing that we want to do is a simple command line text editor called nano. So, nano, hello, oops. Nano. We don't know what nano does yet. We'll find out the next slide, but let's just try the syntax. So, it looks like it's brought up a couple of commands here for us to take to take care of if I had to guess um, so now we're gonna type in hello I am nano let's try it without the uh, the quotes I am nano. Actually, it doesn't seem to be letting go of this last quote. Control X. All right, there we go. So uh, don't forget to Control X to exit out. And let's go to the next page. So you edit a file in the Nano Text Editor. How does it work? Nano is a com command line text editor, so it's it's basically a tool to make our lives a little bit easier when we're working within the command prompt by the looks of it. So, uh, let's go back to Nano, it looks like. And I believe the squiggly line's name is Tilda. If I can find it on my keyboard. Come here, hey Milo. Alright, uh, slash dot bash underscore profile. So let's see what this does. So this brings us up into a nano. Uh, and in the bash profile at the top of the file, we want to echo out. Echo. And then welcome, comma, Jane. Jane Doe. And then we want to control O to save the file and we want to hit enter to write the file name and then control X to exit. Cool. Um, let's see here. In the terminal we want to... So we're back in the terminal on the line below. We want to then go back and we should see the greeting that we entered. So let's see. Tilde slash dot bash underscore profile so there you see it right here welcome Jane Doe alright now that we know what a bash profile is let's configure the environment by adding command aliases so we want to say nano and then we want to open the bash profile that we created there it goes so you can see right there um, it echoes out what we have edited uh, beneath the greeting so let's go down oops let's go back go down uh, we want to create an alias that is with a password that is pwd by the looks of it we want to save the file which is control no no so control o and then we want to exit which is control x no so let's go back save the file I thought it was, I thought it was control o to write out read Justify good help. Alright, control O. Control. Oh, don't forget the enter. Okay. So now, 
in the command line use the source command all right so we need to control x say y to save the modified control x how do we get back to the command line control oh no escape so to get back to the command line control x Control-C, Control-X to exit, Control-C to cancel, Control-X, oh, and that opened. Answering no will destroy changes, so Control-Y, we want to save it, Control-Y, or just Y, okay, and it still won't let us out. Let's try typing in here. All right, there we go. Sorry, I had to s hit enter to save to the correct folder. So, all right, now we want to open it up. Slash dot bash underscore profile, and it's gonna welcome our our uh, welcome us like we already pre-programmed and now we want to try our alias and our PD it's gonna show us where it's at by the looks of it you should see the same output as you would typing PWD so PWD hmm. I think we may have over saved it when I was messing around there so we'll have to change that so we're gonna practice nano a little bit more so we have s slash dot bash underscore profile. So you can see that our PD is equal to PWD. That's good. Uh, now we want to create a new alias called HY. Set that equal to history. We want to save the file. So that's control O. Enter. Control O. Dot bash. HY is equal to history. Let's see if, uh, this gap right here is causing our error. Control O. There we go. Uh, make sure there's no space there. All right, so we're gonna add another alias. It's gonna be LL, and we're gonna set this equal to LS minus LA. So Control O. Enter. And now we need to exit. So Control X. That'll bring us back to the, the command line. It's not going to ask us to save because we just did. And we haven't made any changes. Alright, and then we're going to hit source. And. Oh, source. And I guess we have to call the file again. So this is dash slash dot bash underscore profile bam so now in the command line let's type our hy it's going to show us a little bit of stuff and then type ll and it's going to show us what's going on here so we'll be able to access these profiles and we can get the parameters and what folder they're in stuff like that what happens when you store aliases in the bash profile HY is set to an alias for history. The alias is then made available through session by source. So basically by typing LL, we're typing this sub command that we've already programmed in the alias. That's what it kind of sounds like here. Now that you're familiar with configuring greetings and sending, let's move on to setting environment variables. So. Alright, 
So we are going to export. Export a user equal to Jane Doe. Feel free to use your own name. All right, we'll use my pizza poker guy. All right, uh, save the file, control O, enter, press enter, exit, control X. We're back in the command line. So use source to activate the dot bash, tilde slash dot bash, underscore profile. And then it says, welcome Jane Doe. Now let's go ahead and echo. So we want to find out what the user is. So echo user. And you have to declare the variable it looks like with the dollar symbol. And so it comes out pizza poker guy, exactly as we set it up. The line user equals Jane Doe sets an environment variable. Usually user variable will set to the name of the computer's owner. Okay. So line export makes the variable available to call. So basically we need to use export. Otherwise, we won't be able to call it from the command prompt only in the nano text editor. So let's learn a few important lines. So all right, back to nano. Slash bash dot bash. Let's go profile. All right, so we're back in the nano text editor. We are now going to export PS1 equal to, and don't forget the space at the end. We're going to control S. Nope. Uh, so we want to save it. And now we want to exit, control X, exit. All right, so we're out. We saved it. Clear it. Okay, uh, let's try this one more time. It didn't seem to work. So, nano. I think we have to save it, then exit. We can't exit, save, exit with the the, uh, the issue. Sorry. So, it's nano, uh, and then it's the slash bash. Just go profile. All right, so we're back in it here. So open it up. Uh, we want to export. I also think by the looks of it here that we entered it in wrong. <laughs> All right, and so to write it out, control O, enter, and then control X. We're gonna get back to here. And so we want to use the command line source on our bash uh, dot bash underscore profile and now we want to echo out hello so it prints out hello now let's type ls dash alt did you notice how the prompt has changed I did not. Uh, let's see. So it'll probably tell us how it changed next window. So PS1 is a variable that defines the makeup and style of the command prompt, sets the command prompt variable, and exports the variable. So apparently, uh, this changed this to this. Okay. In the command prompt, Right. Echo out home. So we want to echo out home. Home is probably a default variable. This returns the value of the home variable. So here we want to echo out our path. This probably tells us the path of the file structure and folder structure that we're currently in. Uh, let's see what happens when we try to activate bin slash pwd so this is going to take wherever pwd is 
bin slash ls is going to display all the folders in bin, which is our batch profile, hello text, and artist. Yeah, so path stores a list of directories separated by a colon. This is a script that is executed when you type the pwd command, and this is uh, basically runs the ls command on this path. All right, so let's see what env does. Environment. This looks like it gets a whole lot of information. Gets us. It basically looks like it gets everything. There's our path, our terminal, all that sort of stuff. So let's see what env and I forget what the slash does we used it earlier so this just gets the path from our env by the looks of it so this gets all the environment variables env gets all the environment variables for our current path without making and then the grep or greep depending on how you pronounce it gets a single environment variable. Oops. Cool. And it looks we like we are we are done. We finish the command prompt. Probably a lot more complicated than this short little program, but a short little course. Um, but at least we'll be familiar with it and be able to they didn't even cover the command that I used, which is just pinging sites to see. Uh, let's see if we can even do it in here. Ping. Uh, let's see if it'll work. So this is what we would use at my work to see if our if we don't get a return, it means our site's not getting the ping. So you can see right here we're getting it's going to continue and continue but um anyhow thanks for watching the video and anything constructive is always appreciated i'll see you guys in the next one